Hello my little subjects, and welcome to a series I have yet to name, because I, I don't know what to name it. Um, basically, I just want to show off uh, some things I enjoy in my, in, my, uh, in my life outside of like video games and alcohol and all that type of stuff. Uh, just another series to get to know me, really. Uh, we're going to start with Beyblades. So, um, if you've already watched the vlog I put out, um, I went to like five different stores, uh, three Walmarts, a Target, and the mall. To try and find Beyblades and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because I was going to do Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Gi card pack unopening. Um, couldn't really find anything anywhere. Out of the three Walmarts I went to, only one of them had Beyblades that actually came with the launcher um, for the cheap price. Um, so you had your like ten dollar Beyblades, and then you had your twenty dollar like Pro Series Beyblades, and then you had the like twenty dollar like multi pack Quad Burst Beyblades, which I ended up not going with. I talked in the vlog that I was leaning towards those. I ended up not going with them because for my needs, I more need Bey or want Beyblades for collectibles to have them. They're cool to look at. And they're cool to have uh, on a shelf or sitting uh, in here, like behind me or whatever. Um, and also just so I can do like quick little challenge videos with friends so I can have people over and be like, hey, if you, if it's, each of you grab a Beyblade, loser takes a shot, whatever. Uh, just when people are over just to have fun. Um, so I don't really need the quad burst because the, the quad burst, the whole gimmick for that is that it comes with multiple parts. So you can, it's four Beyblades Bay Bay in one. You could uh, put this tip on it to make it faster, or this tip on it to make it heavier. Um, and I don't really need that. I just need Beyblades. Um, so these two did not come with launchers. That's why I had to buy two that came with launchers so that I had launchers for these. Um, which is a little disappointing because back in both, uh, like both of the, the generations of Beyblade that I come from, all Beyblades came with a launcher, uh, whether it be the Metal Fusion Beyblades, the original Beyblades, they all came with that little square launcher that like hooks into, uh, your Beyblade. And then when it spins, it spins off of the hook and then it goes, you know how Beyblades work. Um, so it was really weird to go and try and find Beyblades and find so many stores where all they had were just like these guys that didn't come with a launcher. Now the only difference between these two is that this one did not come with a launcher. They're the same materials, the same style, well not style because Beyblades are different styles like these are these are more defensive bays and this is more like attack or speed bays. Um, so or this one's more stamina, this one's more attack and these are more defense. Um, as long as I'm reading the, 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 the stat cards right, we'll get to that in a minute. So yeah, just, um, my, my first impressions on getting back into Beyblades in 2022 is that things are different, um, now I remember. Um, one cool thing about the new Beyblades is in an, an in the anime, uh, it was always really, they would always make it really dramatic. Um, either A, the bay would stop spinning and it'd be like, oh no, I lost. Or every once in a while, you had one where the, the villain would beat the, the, the protagonist so bad that their bay exploded into a million pieces and they would stop, they would stop playing Beyblade for like months at a time because they'd be like, no, I hurt, I hurt Blue Pegasus. Blue Pegasus got hurt. And it's like, dude, it's, it's a Beyblade. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool about these, um, is that um, if they get hit in a, the right way, they will just kind of explode. Um, I don't know. We'll see when we test them. But like these these chips do come out like the old ones that I snap into here. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cool that they were able to integrate that into the Beyblades. Because uh, as a kid, anytime that happened to the anime, it was a big deal. Like it was like holy crap his Beyblade exploded um I, th I just think that's really cool so it's a cool thing that they were able to integrate into the modern Beyblades another cool thing about them is I just like how the designs look um I personally when that was never a huge fan of um the the little chips that would just snap into the top and it had like a sticker of the the character on it uh, Metal Fusion had it already printed on and it was like tied to the top thing um, so you couldn't like interchange the chips um, like you could with the original ones and like this one you can interchange those chips Maybe I'm wrong about the Metal Fusion ones. I would have to find one. I have one in storage somewhere I have El Drago and Pegasus somewhere in one of my storage totes um, But yeah, it's it's weird 
comparing these to the originals. The tops are very different. The designs are really intricate and nice. Um, I like that they burst apart. Um, I don't know how well they spin. We'll get to that in a minute. But it's just, it's it's different. Different than what I'm used to. Um, the Pro Series, I don't know what the advantage of the Pro Series versus these guys are. These are the basic um, Beyblade uh, Burst. Um, so I call Burst Surge is what's on here. Um, the, the basic like eight, eight, nine dollar Beyblades. Um, I'm assuming the Pro Series $20 Beyblades are probably of a better material. They probably have extra pieces because the original ones and I be and I believe the Metal Fusion ones were like four parts. So you would have your base, uh, a weight, an attack ring, and then the top. These are three parts. You have your base, which goes into your weight, which, and then your attack ring and top are all one piece. If I get that to snap together, yeah. So that's the biggest difference I've noticed between these and the old ones. Um, which I this might be just because of the whole burst thing. It might just be the best way to make them like this. Um, I don't know. I'm not an expert on Beyblades. Um, I'm just sharing with you because I think they're cool. Um, so the four I bought are... This one is Triumph Dragon. According to the stat sheet, it is mostly... It's going to be weight heavy. So it's pretty heavy. Got a high attack. Uh, I'm trying to see if it says on here, because um, generally bays are, have been historically categorized as like an attack bay or a defense or a speed. Um, if I'm going off of the, oh, it says up on here, attack type. So this is considered an attack type. Um, it's got high attack, it's got a high weight, low, low agility and stamina, um, very, pretty low defense as well. So this is more made to be heavy and knock your opponent's bay into a pit or knock it hard enough to knock it over so it stops spinning. Uh, then we got Demise, which is a balance type. Uh, pretty high attack, decently high weight, pretty high stamina and mill agility. This one's a lot more balanced than the other one. So you got that there. And, ooh, dropping. Yeah, this one looks really cool. Um, out of these two, I really like this one better. The Honestly, the only reason I bought this one is because it came with a second launcher. And I wanted a second launcher. Um, the other two are going to be Super Satum, which is another balanced type. I really like how that one looks. Looks kind of demonic. Got the red ring on there. Um, some of them have... So, like, this has plastic covering up this metal... This one is plastic covering up the metal. This one, the metal is exposed, but the attack ring is so wide, I don't think it will smack into it too much. And then this one's also got exposed metal for the weight ring. Um, that could be a difference between this one and another one. Because I know with the metal fusion ones, the metal part was exposed at all times. And they would smack together, uh, made a really cool, fun noise. Um, so I don't know how these are going to do. I think these are more close to the originals. I could be misremembering how the originals were because it's such a long time ago. But I believe the originals, it was the plastic smacking together and not the metal. And then the Metal Fusion ones, if I remember correctly, the metal was smacking together. I could be misremembering all of this. Um, but yeah, uh, so that is Super Satum. It's a balanced type. Got pretty high attack, pretty pretty decent weight. Um Stat wise is looking pretty even across the board. I'm gonna keep the packaging so I remember what these are called in the future. Um, and then we got Super Doolahan, which is another balance type. So I bought three balance types and an attack type, which means this one's probably gonna wreck house in all the in all the tests. Um, this one is my favorite out of all the ones I've seen so far. Uh, it just looks really cool. The blue and gold and silver all work together really well. So yeah, uh, that's enough of me rambling. I think it's time to get this out and test some of, t test how these spin. I'll test how they spin and how they play off of each other. Uh, but first, I'm gonna take a minute to get, to get these stickers off the inside. All right, so I had to go find a tripod. That took way, way longer than I expected it to. Um, 
So yeah, my tripod was in storage and I couldn't find it. Um, I was gonna test these out. I don't know. There's, I realized I'm only one person. Um, so for now, I've just kind of rigged it so the ripcord goes through both launchers. I know that means that this back one will get more ripcord than the other. Uh, but honestly, I don't know how much that matters as long as I pull it quick enough. I think the momentum will get them both going at the same rate. Uh, so without further ado, let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated so quickly. All right, um, <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> I dropped the first. I dropped one of them. Um. <laughs> all right, test number one of failure. Uh, so Dragon just yeeted Devilos completely out of the arena but you can see the burst thing worked the burst thing worked the only issue is there's a chance that it burst before it even hit the arena uh so yeah there's <laughs> there's um yeah that um <laughs> that escalated so quickly um i'm thinking the um do one and then the other as quickly as possible method may still be better than do, trying to do it this way. Um, but we will try this one more time with two launchers and just see how it goes. Um, one thing I have, I did notice when setting this up, is that um, this bolt has right and left. Um, how do I get it in the camera? So it'll focus. So we both have right and left. So if I have a left spinning bay, I can use the same launcher, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that um, when I was setting things up. I wonder if there's an actual way to like connect these to each other. I doubt it, but it would be cool. No, it doesn't look like it. So sadly, sadly, we're just gonna have to try this method again and see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna lock you in front, lock you in back. All right, so the issue, the first issue was I dropped the Beyblade. I dropped the one launcher when I did this. Would you stay connected? That's gonna be a problem. I don't, there's not a better way to hold this. Okay. There we go. And go. Okay, that went so much better. Oh, that went so much better. So. And they both stopped at the same time. Okay. <laughs> this is going so well so quickly. Um, I, I actually think, um, De uh, what is it, Devilus? Not Devilus, Devilos. It looks like Devilos or Devilus actually stopped first there well, i'm sure um <laughs> that just uh these tests are going great so far uh, this would be much easier to do if it was the small the original beyblade holders because these are kind of long so i kind of have to like grip it like this which isn't the most comfortable thing in the world we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue this we're gonna keep going uh so far what two two d d test duds we'll see how this one goes that one better that one much better now i can't tell whether the momentum because that lost momentum super quick i can't tell that's your loser uh whether the momentum thing is because i can't pull this too hard or that's just how they are this is also on a hard surface and I don't know if that's affecting anything. Also, by the way, I said I was going to take these stickers off. Couldn't get them off. And then uh, my uh, the person fixing my pool pump showed up. And it's been it's been like three hours since that last clip, by the way. <laughs> just so you guys are aware. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep testing these uh, with the two-in-one two launch method. Um, it doesn't seem so far like the... Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, there we go. We got a burst. All right, cool. So yeah, it doesn't seem um, so far. There we go. That's my favorite one out of the bunch that I bought so far. That's so cool. Sorry for the shaky camera. The sh table's kind of shaky. It's making the tripod shake. So yeah, that's 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 why they are called bursts. Uh, popped apart. So it doesn't seem like uh, the two two in one launch method uh, really matters which one's in front or which one's not. Um, just kind of matters on uh, what I guess. Um, yeah, that worked. That worked really well. Um, and now I'm curious to see. So I did these two together and these two together because these are the two that came with the launchers and these are the two that didn't. And I'm curious to see is if if these are gonna be, cause these are a little bit heavier looking as far as the plastic and everything go, like it looks thicker. I think that, I honestly think that's just the design, but we'll see. I think they're both marketed as burst surge. So yeah, they're both marketed as burst surge speed storm. So it shouldn't cause, a, there shouldn't really be much of a difference, but you never know, you never know. There's something making noise over there, and I think it's one of my cats eating something. Sorry about that. Buggy got into a storage room. He's not supposed to be in. <laughs> so we're going to go with um, the... I'm going to learn these names eventually. Triumph Dragon and Spear Dulahan. Let's see how it goes. This one... Well, I'm looking at it, actually. This one has a little bit of gold paint on the on the gray uh it's probably just a factory error but i'm hoping it's not paint chipped off of something else already let's go yeah. oh yeah cool i was worried about this one completely overpowering this one and it's pretty even up until the right at the end. I do think that uh, shooting them separately, will, they will probably spin longer and stronger um, than doing it this way. Um, so when I have people with me to test these out, I think it'll work a lot better. But yeah, this is going well. This is going pretty well. These are um, uh, spin-wise and quality-wise. The old ones did spin a lot longer and they would clash a lot more. But that, like I said, that might also just be because of how I'm doing this and how I'm trying to do this. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to do more testing when I have another person to help me help me do this. Now we got Devilus and we got uh, Satum. So yeah, these ones are going crazy around the arena. So I, I, I think, oh nice, Satum wins. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking it might just be a, um, a, uh, a double launch, uh, issue, um, that they're not lasting as long. I'm hoping so, um, cause the older Beyblades would spin forever. They would not lose momentum for anything. Um, the Metal Fusion ones I'm speaking of, not the, not the original, original ones. The Metal Fusion ones would clang together and they would keep going for a while before one of them would kick out, um, so yeah, let's see if we can get another burst. All right, I'm going to try and do this with more power and see if that changes anything. Okay. I'll definitely change something because that one's spinning a lot faster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that went a lot better. So I think it's I think it's power. Power is the key thing. Is I'm not putting I can't put enough oomph into the duel. Um, I can't put enough oomph into spinning on both at once. Um, so playing with other people will probably go a lot better. So you see how much that. It could also be the surface. That one's going, going. Because um, you can see this was moving a lot. And when it hit, the, the this one bounced like real bad. So it could be that I am have this on a hard surface. I don't have anything else to put it on at the moment. All right, we're going to try. I'm trying to get one more burst. 
because it only burst the one time and I think it's kind of cool that it's not super often super super like a happening every time but at the same time like that's that's the whole reason you have the burst ones that's so cool all right one more and then we'll gather our final thoughts and, oh, as I say that it gets another burst going so yeah uh, <laughs> hey <laughs> you get what you wish for sometimes that was kind of awesome so yeah, uh, final thoughts on the Beyblade uh, Burst Surge uh, series. I really enjoy them. Um, they're really fun. I really love the whole uh, the whole burst thing. That didn't go as well as I thought it would. Um, I think it's a really cool gimmick to have for Beyblades, especially considering I was I was kind of worried about it happening too often. Because like I said, in the anime, it was a really dramatic, like, holy crap, that guy's Beyblade exploded thing. Um, so I really like how um, in often it happens. Um, it seems like it's more likely just um, random chance, like if they're spinning and one catches the other in between the hooks and it snaps it off, um, which is which is really nice. That doesn't just happen all the time. Um, I think with a better arena or another person or better launchers or maybe the Pro Series base, um, they might last a bit longer. I think that's my main complaint about these. Is they seem to like lose momentum super quick. Um, uh, like I said, when I was messing with them, the the uh, metal fusion Beyblades would la would spin for a long time. Especially um, they had uh, a launcher for them that like the original series had the like big grip launcher you grab. There was a launcher that came from one of the Metal Fusion Beyblades where the string was like twice as long and you could just rip that thing and the Beyblade would go forever, like a solid three minutes of spin. And I cannot remember which Beyblade it is. So any Bay YouTubers, just Bay tubers, or I don't know what they're called, I know they exist. Uh, let me know if you know which one I'm talking about offhand. But yeah, Metal Fusion seems to be my favorite as far as durability and how, how long they last and just the... Um, uh the material they were made out of uh time remains to be, time remains to be seen um how well these will hold up smacking into each other forever because it is like it does feel like a cheaper plastic than the old ones um but again they are made to pop apart at random so maybe they need to use the cheaper materials um so yeah, this this series will not just be about Beyblades. It'll serve to kind of update about random like uh, collectibles and stuff. So maybe if I go to the mall and buy a bunch of Funkos, I'll show off why what Funkos I bought and why I bought them, or new title I'll unboxing a new title belts if I buy new title belts, stuff like that. Um, I might get some Russell crates down the road and do uh, Russell crate unboxings. So yeah, this series will just be to kind of let you guys a little bit into the things I enjoy and kind of collectibles and stuff like that. I'll definitely do more Beyblade episodes if I find. Some some cool Beyblades out there, or if I get a new arena, or I want to test some stuff out that I thought of or I saw online. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see in the comments, or just ask me questions about things I like, and I'll let you know, and then maybe I'll make a video about it. Uh, so that is all for this video. I would love for you guys to have a wonderful day, and be good people, and I will see you in the next video.